in the previous video we have talked about the applied anatomy of the iris so the uveal tissue is the middle vascular coat of the eyeball from anterior to posterior it is divided into three parts that is the iris the ciliary body and the choroid the iris it is the anterior most part of the uveal tract in its center there is an aperture of about 4 mm diameter which is called as a pupil and it regulates the amount of light reaching the retina at the periphery it is attached to the middle of the anterior surface of the ciliary body the iris it divides the space between the cornea and the lens into the anterior and the posterior chambers going on the macroscopic appearance the iris has a ciliary zone and a pupillary zone and a zigzag line called as the collarette now coming on to the microscopic structure if we the iris has four layers from anterior to posterior and these are the anterior limiting layer the iris stroma the anterior epithelial layer and the posterior pigmented epithelial layer now talking about the anterior limiting layer it is the anterior most condensed part of the stroma it contains melanocytes and fibroblast now previously this layer was called the endothelial layer of the iris but it was a misnomer this layer is deficient in areas of grip hence it gives a depression type of a appearance like this now the color of the iris the color of the iris it depends on this layer in blue iris this layer is thin while in brown iris it is thick and densely pigmented now moving on to the iris stroma or the most important layer of the iris it has got the loosely arranged collagenous network kya kya embedded hota hai isme sphincter pupillae dilator pupillae vessels nerves pigment other cells like lymphocytes fibroblast macrophages and the mast cells the sphincter pupillae it is 1 mm broad circular band in the pupillary part of the iris means in the part which is close to the pupil layer this is the sphincter it is a 1 mm thick band supplied by parasympathetic fibers through the third nerve and it constricts the pupil the dilator pupillae it lies in the posterior part of stroma of the ciliary zone jo myofilaments hote hain wo outer part of cells of anterior pigment epithelial layer mein hote hain supply hoti hai by the cervical sympathetic nerve and it dilates the pupil now the anterior epithelial layer ye kiska continuation hai pigment epithelium of retina one thing which you should keep in mind that the anterior epithelial layer is a continuation of pigment epithelium of retina and the posterior pigmented layer is a continuation of non pigmented epithelium of ciliary body aur jo jisme pigment hai wo non pigmented epithelium ka continuation hai और जिसमें पिगमेंट नहीं है वो पिगमेंट एपिथीलियम ऑफ रेटिना का कंटिन्यूएशन है सो द एंटीरियर एपिथीलियल लेयर इट इज द एंटीरियर कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पिगमेंट एपिथीलियम ऑफ रेटिना एंड सीलियरी बॉडी एंड दिस लेयर्स दिस लेयर गिव राइज टू द डायलेटर प्यूपिली मसल नाउ द पोस्टीरियर पिगमेंट एपिथीलियल लेयर it is the continuation of the non pigmented epithelium of ciliary body at the pupillary margin it forms the pigmented frill and becomes continuous with the anterior pigment epithelial layer as in this diagram this is the posterior epithelial layer it is the continuation of the pigmented non pigmented epithelium of the retina and at the pupillary frill or at the border it is becoming continuous with the anterior epithelial layer okay
my next video i'll be talking about the cd recording